Hi, we're at Bill Left's house. We just came over to visit Bill and see his uh, his extensive collection of toys, which is really cool. Where should we go first? Why don't you uh, Why don't you direct us? In the room right now, there's over 4,600 toys and action figures, and I want to show you every one. There's every one has a story. So let's do. Do you have time to hit all 4,600? In alphabetical order, I would like you to name. Where are the A's? Let, where do you want to start? The crazy foam. Oh, crazy foam's great. Uh, you, you see Batman and Robin, they made other crazy foams. I think there were 35 or 40 of them in the series. And they all did the same thing, which is they gave off the look of being rabid. You'd push them on the head, and a lot of kids, you know, fans of the show at the time would say, I wonder what it would look like if Burt Ward had rabies. He'd push them on the head, and then he'd foam at the mouth, just like Burt Ward would do if he ever contacted rabies. Um, I'll show you the Mark's Disneykins real quick. Now, I remember that these were very special to you because you, you've been collecting these for a very long time. And we used to, uh, every once in a while, I would go to some of these shows with you. Mm -hmm. And these were the things that you were specifically looking for. Right now, there's some of these that are just out and out impossible to find. Um, they were out in the mid-60s, late 60s. Uh, the problem with them was, as Mark's found out, they're so incredibly small. I mean, if you look at Jiminy Cricket or Tinkerbell, uh, the kids were just eating them like candy. And you can't do that with plastic toys. So uh, they had to eventually stop making them. But what went for at the time, 15 cents or three for a quarter, some of them are already worth about $300 each. So a smart investor would have bought them all up and just sat on them, but uh, it's taken me years and years to get all of them in the set. I get a lot of them on eBay or different computer websites, and you you won't believe who I have to bid against, who's like the big Disneykin collector. Um, someone famous? Somebody very famous. Clooney? It's not George <laughs> Clooney. Is, or did you mean Rosemary Clooney or George? No, Clooney? George. I was talking about George. No, it's neither of the Cloonies. No, it's... Uh, Walter Koenig, who played Chekhov on Star Trek. Yes. Walter Koenig is the guy, anytime I bid on the good Disneykins, he's the guy I'm bidding against. I don't know if you can see, but if you get really close, you can see like in the third row, mm -hmm. behind Captain Hook, yeah. Gavin McLeod. Yeah, he's he's got even more toys than you do. He's going to show us all. Now, if you look over here, you'll see the Fred Grandy action figure. Now, wait. It's funny you mentioned Gavin McLeod. Come on over here. It's Gavin McLeod. That's from the Love Boat series. That's Captain Meryl Steubing. And I, for the record, I wasn't setting Bill up for no, this. No, there was no setup. I had no idea that, that there was a Gavin McLeod action figure. <laughs> like, I don't know if you have the, the Hulk action figure. And for a while, Hulk had a van. Yeah, the Hulk van. Yeah, and it was his idea. Do you like go into the dealership and go, <laughs> Hulk want own face on side of van or Hulk smash? <laughs> We'll throw it in free. We'll give you the extended warranty and the rust proofing and your own face <laughs> on the side of the van. Push puppets, because oh, you'd push yeah. the bottom. And they were jointed. But they, to me, I don't know what disease it is, but it was like a bone degenerative disease where they'd be standing and excited, and then you press the bottom and they would go, I've got no spinal stru structure, and they would just collapse. The role of Dr. Octopus is now being played by Roy Orbison. Orbison. <laughs> the, the toy that I wanted to end this piece with has just been decapitated. My most valuable piece, the very rare Lon Chaney. <laughs> senior. The cameraman just broke. There's a lot of Lon Chaney Junior ones, but this is a the senior. Senior one. Um, this was what we call in the toy collecting business the holy grail piece for me. I had looked for this for years and years and finally found it in Vermont about a year ago, and uh, the cameraman just knocked it over and broke it. What do you think Lon Chaney Junior would say if he saw that? <laughs> Please, why did you decapitate my father? Well, this is important, Bill. How can people come here and, and see your toys that we've seen? How do, how do people get here, and how do they get to see them? You mean to come to my house? Well, yeah, like how would they get here and, uh, you know. Oh, all right. If you're in the area and you want to come by and see the toys, uh, we're open Monday through Friday, noon to 6. Uh, we're on Gulf Road, right where the old Fisherman's Dude Ranch used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, just come park in the parking lot. It still says Fisherman's Dude Ranch. Go way around the back, and then... It'll say Bill's Toys. You just come right on in. Thanks for coming, Mike, and mo most importantly, thanks for not stealing anything. You're welcome. There you go. Bill Leff, his toy collection. We're here at Uncle Fun's with their toy collection. You can actually buy these toys here. Julie, where is she? Oh, my God, where is she? <laughs> here I am. I just have had a blast today at Uncle Fun, and I'm here with... Billy, Billy and Alicia. And Alicia, up oh, kicker. <laughs> hey! And you can come down here and see these guys and have a blast. And oh, I've never had so much fun. You can buy some of this poo. Oh, oh, look at this! Look, it makes farting sounds. Hopefully. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that's all the time we have tonight. Oh, as classy as the to. show is, we have to say goodbye. Julie, would you like to thank anyone tonight? Oh, just these guys here for allowing us to be here at this beautiful establishment. <laughs> I like to say, <laughs> I like to thank Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. 